Hello, my name is Wade Nomura and this is Rotary Serving Our Community. Recently, as in January 1st, we put out what's called the Rotary Rose Parade Float. And this float is sponsored by a private organization. The uh, committee itself actually funds this. It's about a $180,000 project solely uh, supported by private donations. Not a cent of this comes from Rotary International. Most people think this is actually a Rotary uh, project, but it is not. It is done privately funded. And I'm sharing this with you because this is part of the effort that we put together each year to put a float down the, uh, the parade route. The first picture I wanted to show you is a rendering. And this rendering actually is a picture that was presented by the float builder himself. They uh, have us select this out and we pick out which theme we want to go with. This one here is the penguin, Penelope the penguin, being pulled by Rotarians around the world. And as you can see, the icons below actually represent different areas of the world. The band around the collar is all the different countries, uh, again, from around the world. And that was a theme that we decided to use internationally. Hope Connects the World came from Rotary Connects the World from the uh, theme this year from President Mark Maloney. And uh, the power of hope was the actual parade theme itself. So we combined the two to come up with Hope Connects the World. Uh, this is going to play in important at the end of it when we actually get our award. The next picture we have is a picture of the committee as we started out. Now this committee meets each year, uh, I'm sorry, each month for the entire year. So we've already had a few meetings this year, but this is uh, the kind of rollout. The float itself is done in foam and it is painted to replicate this at this point in time. Later on, the uh, decorations go on to it. We also have this uh, picture here from what's called the test run. And the test run is actually an official run where we try the float out, make sure it's going to work. Fire marshals come out and see if we can actually evacuate that float in, I believe, it's 45 seconds. So this is all done as part of the requirements for safety. The next picture is actually now that we get started the month of December, we start the actual decorating of this float. And uh, we, it takes roughly 8,000 man hours to put each of these floats together. So um, we're looking at 8,000 man hours of volunteer help from uh, interactors from around the area and also uh, internationally to Rotarians from, again, all over the world. Picture of one of the groups that we had. Uh, this is one of the teams that we had doing the decoration that year. And they go almost every day in December. So uh, a fascinating group. As you see the scaffolding going on there and the people working behind the scenes to make this happen. The last week of it, we actually put on the live flowers. And so this is the president working or talking to the people that are doing the decorations itself. And this is the last week of it only because the flowers won't last if they go on any sooner than that. So uh, these happy faces are because uh, they're getting to see close to the end product of that one. We uh, also have a team. Uh, this team is from Phoenix Company and they supervise the construction of the float itself. Again, I believe these are volunteers. They come in here and they will work from seven in the morning till one o'clock every day until that float is complete. And so these are some dedicated people making sure that float goes uh, without any hitches. One of the advantages we have, a uh, picture of myself and my wife, we get to meet a lot of Rotarians from around the world and around the country. So we visit with them. Uh, it's fascinating how many people have put on their bucket list that this is something that they want to do. So this happy group of uh, volunteer decorators here, we spend a lot of time with and talked about Rotary in general and how we spread the word through the, the float. The next picture is a picture of, of us Actually, uh, the president, his wife, Gay, myself and my wife with a donor, uh, actually uh, somebody that has received a donation of an organ. This is uh, Donate Life that we do in honor each and every year with the um, city of Carpinteria, myself serving as the mayor, along with representation from Rotary, also for the same efforts. And this organization has saved millions of lives. So uh, thank you for them. Now we're going to jump into some of the looks of the float. This is right before judging. So you'll see the float in, in its glory. These are the flowers that have been posted up there. What it looks like up close. Many of you see it on TV, but you don't get to see the up close picture and details of what it is that puts these floats together. And by the way, every square inch of that float has to be covered with organic matter. So that's what you see there, with the exception of the bench. Uh, the bench is receding, and uh, that's one of the allowables. 
a uh, picture of the rotary uh, sign itself with the uh, Sydney Opera House in the background, again, as part of the icon representation that we have showing the internationality of it. This next picture is the front end of it. This is the front of the float. Hope connects the world. And you can see it was well presented. Um, the float designers themselves decide what the colors are and what the media is for the color itself on what's going in. Now, how do we win an award? Well, it goes through judging. Right before, on the 31st of uh, uh, December, we actually have what we have as a, a judge. And it's about 10 minutes of judging. It's very official, very formal. This is what it looks like. This is a gentleman that's giving directions to the float judges itself. It is then presented by the float builder. This is uh, Chris Lufthaus and his wife. They talk about the design, the organization, and how the theme came together. And this is being presented to the judges at this point in time. We then go through um, actual live um, enactment of what it's going to be like going down the float route. Uh, President Mark and Gay doing their uh, official waving, the music as the music's playing. We'll sing and dance to that if they can on that bench. We also, this year, was the first time ever, we had the president, international president of Optimus on it. And as you can see here, he was definitely engaged in it and loved singing along with that. Um, he uh, added a lot of, uh, I would say, uh, animation to the float itself, but it was great. And this year was one of the first times I've actually seen good interaction with the judges themselves. You can see here one of the judges actually talking to uh, President Mark, talking about the float and what Rotary actually is and does. She was fascinated, and the questions actually came about the organization itself. The next picture is of all of the participants. Now, how do we fund the float? A portion of it comes from this, actually a major portion. If you want to be a walker, it's $6,500. If you want to actually ride in the float, it's $10,000 sponsored uh, for those positions. And these are opened up from all over the world. We have people from Texas, Minnesota, uh, California, and different areas of the West Coast also represented here. Picture of the float itself, uh, this is the finished product right after judging. And you can see uh, how that float has come together from beginning to end. One of the big advantages we had this year and the reason we had substantial amount of media coverage is because we were awarded the Tournament Volunteer Award. And that is for a float under 35 feet that depicts best with floral presentation the theme of power, um, the power of hope. And that's why we got that. Now what I want to do is share with you a little bit of footage. I had the opportunity to actually be on the play, parade route. And by the way, it wasn't a privilege. I do this every year. We start with about 40 degrees in the morning and go through and spend uh, from 2.30 in the morning to about 9 o'clock that night running around these floats. But um, anyways, uh, enjoy this video because it talks uh, with interviews about the participants and also with the presidents of both Rotary and Optimus. Brent is wonderful. Here we are at the crack of dawn. Dawn is cracked. And Jesse, <laughs> our driver, has sprung up for one breath of air. He's going to take a deep breath and go down there and drive this float for four hours. Good night, you. Happy, happy, happy to be here. And we got somebody from El Centro now. Where the heck is El Centro? Keep, keep fooling you guys. Don't say that. That and sounds... I'm so thankful to Martin Knight, our DG. <laughs> Five and miles I'm more to go here. Yeah. And um, I'm so thankful. So am I. Hi to all the North Carolina friends and Rotarians back home. I'm so happy to be here in Pasadena and celebrate the new year. Yahoo! North Carolina, go huh? Rotary! You, you want to tell us the name of your club? Oh, yes. My club is Mecklenburg County South in Charlotte, North Carolina, right. District 7680. Yay, Rotary! Right. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Congratulations to you and your team working with all of us on getting the Tournament of Volunteer Award. We're going to get it right. It's been great here to be on the float Penelope uh, Penguin and Hope Connects the World and Optimus International is thrilled to join with Rotary International and the Ro Rotary Rose Bowl Committee float. Hi, I'm Brenda Jones. I live right here in Pasadena and 
I'm so excited to welcome you all to Pasadena on New Year's Day 2020. And I'm so excited to be walking with the Rotary Club. Hello, my name is Bill Dindy, past district governor from North Texas. And this is truly magical. It's a magic that every Rotarian should eventually experience to come to California and participate in one of the longest public image running events that we've done. The Rose Parade is a thing that touches many people every year. They get up on New Year's Day to watch the Rose Parade. And the Rotary Float brings hope and a symbol of what we do worldwide. It's a quick trip to get to Pasadena and to decorate the float, to put the roses on the float, and then to watch the floats go by is something that every Rotarian should do. I'm Barry Valdez from Javor, California, District 5330. I'm the District Governor elect. Happy New Year and welcome to the Rose Parade. Happy New Year! <laughs> Richard Schulhoff from the Arcadia Club, riding the float. Rotary connects the world. Happy New Year! <laughs> Zeller from the Rotary Club of Altadena. You can see our clubhouse right from here. <laughs> we'll, we'll take Great a look to at have it. everybody here. Wonderful float, and we're happy to be representing all the Rotarians around the world. Rotary won the Volunteer Floral Award. Kessler, all the way from Long Beach. <laughs> yeah, surfer! Surfer! And 5320, delighted to be here, first time ever, so this is the way to do it. So Happy New Year, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yes! I'm Susan Hume from Laverne Rotary, District 5300, and you can follow us on at Rotary. Have fun! Perfect, thank you. I'm Melanie Rice, District 5330 in the Inland Empire, Riverside, San Bernardino County. Love Rotary! <laughs> Yo! Yeah. And the Texas contingent from <laughs> lovely Dallas, Texas! Yeah. Grand Prairie, yeah. my district governor, <laughs> our latest play, our float rider, Beverly Kroger! Very good. Happy New Year! Thank you guys all. Rotary friends in Barbados, I gotta tell you, you have to put this on your bucket list right before your international convention. You have to come up here to uh, Pasadena. Sounds good. And uh, participate in this phenomenal event. of being in the float barn with the rotary float and we were able to see the attention to detail in that float and the flags of the world that were on the scarf of Penelope the penguin and that extra attention to detail I'm sure attracted the judges. Well the tournament volunteer trophy was just a great recognition of all the efforts of the rotary Rose Parade Float Committee. I said it right. You got time. it right. <laughs> In putting together a fabulous float for this year. And to do this year after year, this was the 41st Rotary Float in the parade. Right. And to get this award and to have the coverage on the national networks, everything was fabulous. And I have to say that this year with the theme, The Power of Hope, 
you know, coming together, the two major service club organizations to do this initiative, it worked. It truly was an outstanding event, and I'm thrilled that the uh, volunteers have the satisfaction also of knowing that they delivered a prize-winning float. Uh, to get the volunteer award, I think that speaks volumes and is truly satisfying that the media also recognize that. I think it creates public image, it creates a positive public image, and an awareness that Rotary exists. You know, the major service clubs all have a presence in this parade. Kiwanis has a float, Lions has a float, Rotary has a float. And it is, I think, very important that Rotary continue to have a presence that goes around the world. You know, millions of people seeing it right here today in Pasadena, but then tens of millions seeing it around the world on television. I encourage you all to participate and join us for the magic next year at the Rotary Rose Parade. So you got to see actual footage of what it is like to be on that float. I will tell you it's spectacular. I can see why many people have put this on their bucket list, but I wanted to share this with you because this is the effort that the Rotary Rose Play Float Committee does each and every year. We gladly look for assistance from you, and if you want to participate at all, you can go to rotaryfloat.org and take a look at the opportunities we have. Again, it starts from January and goes all the way to January of next year, so we do this all year long. If you want to participate, please get a hold of us. And with that, thank you. We will see you next time.